Hey yo! What's going on everybody? It's Tyleries aka Ty Killington. Uh, yeah man, alright in this video I am bringing you a complete full in-depth review of the brand new Grotti Itali RSX. Alright, it is out, it's in the game. Before we get started, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you are new so you don't miss any other future content, videos, live streams I got. Turn on post notifications all the way. And let's get into it. All right, here we go. So it's in the Legendary Motorsport, 2598750 You guys may have it for more. That's because I've unlocked the trade price by doing the two Moody Man missions in the game, the free roam missions. So definitely look out for those. I'll have a video on that a little bit later as well. Okay, so as you saw, the RSX is in the sports class, all right? So it's up against some big dogs. It's up against the Pariah, the Itali GTO, I mean, this the sports class is dominated by the Grotties right now. All right, so we will put this up against those two, and we'll see how this bad boy handles, all right? It's pretty interesting. Right now, let's keep on with the cosmetics. So for the front bumpers, the rear bumpers, you have a lot of different options, but most of them are just going to be differences with your, your primary, secondary, and the carbon fiber uh, looks to them. For the engine tunes, the, you know, the standard performance stuff, your exhaust, you have several different exhaust options. You get the aluminum, the quad exhaust, the chrome quad, the expansive exhaust, the triple bore, chrome triple bore. and That's, that's a lot to say. <laughs> For the hoods, you got 14 different hoods right there. The carbon, the strip, the carbon strip, the twin, the carbon, the carbon dish. Oh, my God. Triple intake, twin dish, carbon primary race, secondary race. Oh, my God. Carbon race fits. So many. So many. All right, you know what, it, what the deal is with the lights. You know, you got the uh, the high-vis, and then you have the ground lights. 11 different liveries. The liveries are really nice for the vehicle. They match it very well. Edgelord looks really good. The white pinstripe is on point. That looks fire. I love that one right there. Gold pinstripe is really good, too. I wish it wasn't so yellow. I wish it was more of like a metallic gold. Candy box racer is really nice. I like that as well. Dual tone, very good, very clean. You got the tri-stripe, which I believe that's probably my favorite. I liked it a lot. It's got that little uh, fuku <laughs> little image there. The khaki camo is dope, too. Very nice. It looks really good in the snow as well. All right. Mirrors, you got your standard, your secondary, and your carbon fiber. For the rear panel options, those are pretty cool, too. You can adjust these rear panels that are right by the back window showing the engine. That's really nice. You got your respray op options. You have the primary. Of course, you have your secondary. You have your trim as well, which is really nice too. So you can uh, paint the inside of your vehicle, the leather, uh, the dashboard, all that good stuff. I, looked, I love when they have that feature. You can kind of have like a little bit of a two-tone look to it, which is nice. Change that up. Got your crew emblem you can put on the side door right there. It looks really good. For the roof, you can change that. Got carbon on there. You got the ridge line, the carbon ridge line, the carbon striped ridge line, the inset roof, the carbon inset roof. And the carbon striped as well. Let's say stripped or striped. Anyways, uh, skirts, <laughs> several different options of that as well. Those look really good. This totally depends on what you want to go for for your cosmetics. The secondary we're looking at right there, the carbon skirts next, the primary super skirt, secondary super skirt, and the carbon as well. For the spoiler, 21 different spoiler options. And I will let you know there is a adaptive spoiler on this vehicle, okay? So what that means is that when you go at certain speeds, the spoiler will raise up. It's an actual adaptive live spoiler. So some of these options may uh, negate that. So I went with the spoiler option, which I not only think is badass, uh, but it will keep the adaptive spoiler. It, it'll, it'll still pop up and fold up and fold down. Uh, so yeah, I went with the primary arrow. That just looks sick right there. It makes the vehicle look like a shark, which I mean, you know, you're out there hunting. You're out there hunting those fagios and... And those asbos, you're, you know what I mean? you're trying to eat. Uh, the suspension looks really nice. Only three options, standard, lowered, and street. For the tail fins, that's basically just that little like uh, satellite antenna on the roof right there. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Several different options for that. Transmission performance, the usual. Your turbo upgrade, again, the usual. You guys know all about this. Different wheel options. Now, the... The stock rims, you can actually change the color with the secondary paint, if you guys didn't notice that earlier. It is a all-wheel drive vehicle, and that does make a difference with its performance. And it's got a lot of power to the front tires, too, which is really nice. We'll go ahead and pop the doors. 
See how that looks? The trunk, the hood. Left and right doors. Oh, we got a little rando right here. Is he about to blow me up? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, he whips up the shotgun. Uh, oh, just a flashlight. Take him for a ride. Right? We're cool like that. Oh, listen. Old tie kills. It's, I, I got no problem with nobody. Okay, so performance. Listen, I stop. Stop right there. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying. Ty, it's in the snow. You can't get accurate. Te stop. I know. Listen, I'm giving you a base. We're testing all the vehicles in the same conditions. It's not like I'm testing one in snow and one like on regular pavement. All same conditions. This is just a unofficial base, all right? However, a 1 minute 12743 for the RSX. That's insane. Now, I was freaking out. I had to put it up against the Pariah. You have to. Top speed, straight line. We are extremely competitive here, my friends. The Pariah barely edges it out at a 112.307. That is insane. Okay? So I take it to the big boy track. This is a track I have that's designed just for this purpose when two cars are very, very close together. All right, look at that graphic rendering. The snow just pushes this game to limit. The Pariah comes in at a 3 minute 26.602. All right, now the RSX is up next. We'll see how it does. Extremely competitive. However, we see the Pariah pull a little bit. 330.674 for the RSX. So yeah, the Pariah still holds that top speed, you know, overall. Just for fun, put the GTO out there, the Italian GTO. Top speed, the GTO is just not there. Coming in at three minutes, 37 seconds, 0 0.480. Now listen, what the Italian GTO lacks in top end speed, it definitely makes up around the track. So again, I know, stop. This is just a base test. Nothing official. I'm just giving you guys some basic numbers here to kind of give you an idea of where it stands. I promise you, though, these results will be similar on regular concrete, all right? Uh, around a track, the Itali GTO and the RSX are extremely competitive. I don't want to put the numbers that I had out because I don't want anybody freaking out or anything like that. Uh, but let me tell you this. The Pariah is not going to be able to, you know, the Pariah is competitive, but the Italian GTO is better. The RSX is better. Okay. All I'm going to say is that you need to buy the RSX. I do recommend it and it's get used to driving it. It is an all wheel drive vehicle. So the handling is a little bit different and that can throw some people off. There is a little bit of understeer, but I'm telling you right now, we have a much tighter, uh, you know, set of cars in the sports class for around a track. Definitely invest in the RSX at some time. You're making plenty of money uh, on the island heist, right, with the Kyle Perico heist, so you'll be fine. Um, it's a very, very competitive vehicle, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below, all right? Thank you so much for coming out. Subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content, the game smash. I mean, smoke smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.